Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? It's the man child. So today for review, we got some new Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates. This is Wave 5 and Galley. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. They made this particular character. He always, uh, watching the show as a kid, I remember him coming in and out of certain episodes. Yeah, I thought he was just interesting. You know, his colors, his backstory. I think he was a pilot and a blacksmith and all kinds of other skills he had. I know he reforged the Sword of Thundera, which it comes with. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Super 7 finally put this figure out. Here's a little bit of art in the back of the box. Here's a closer look at a bio you want to pause and read it. And of course, he comes with the slip cover. Now I had it all, I put it back on, but it just slides all the way down like that. That's how it would slide off. And it covers all the sand. You can put it on any of the Thundercats boxes because there's no name on the front of that. And of course, he comes in this big mailer with his own name on it. It's front and the back. Help protect the figure in the box. Let's give him a quick look around out of the box. He came out really cool. I like the way they did just the hair, the face, the yeah, the pinless joints, of course, the way all the colors blend in. I like those filmation eyes. So taking a closer look at the head. Now he comes with two different heads, but of course we'll focus on this one first. Um, yeah, check out the eyes, the way they did that. All right, pretty neat. Paint's really great. Um, articulation's really good. Knees, back, forward, down, up. I don't want to go down about that far and up. Um, yeah, mine has a little bit. I like the tiger stripes too in his character, but as far I have a little bit of scuffing in the white part of the neck. I, that's gonna be a problem, you know, with some of these figures with white paint, unfortunately. But it's not too bad. I like it for what it is. And there's a little bit closer look at the eyes. You want to zoom in on that? Yeah, really cool. Hair is kind of the back how it's done. I like how the white and it blends in with the blue. Looking at the chest, he's got that cool harness, okay, with big old Thundercat symbol. It's all soft. Um, There's nowhere to really separate that I can see, uh, but I would assume you have to pop the head off, maybe heat it and pull it over the shoulders. You want to take it off, you know, but I'm going to leave it on. I don't have no reason to take it off, but it can't come off, obviously. Um, This is the body's real hard here, plastic. Good paint. Yeah, I like the different shoulder pads, how they just, uh, they're painted separate. They're not, you know, um, they're not separate pieces, all part of the, we'll call it the armored. In the front is the back there. And with his articulation, even with this harness on, look at that, go all the way forward, back that far, and spin at the waist. As far as the arms, the articulation, go all the way out, down, forward, back, bicep swivel, uh, the elbow can bend all the way in about that far and straighten it out. That can also spin. Pinless joints, that's so cool in these, but these are very similar to the Master Universe Classics. And again, that's where the aesthetics came from, and they go right in with your classics if you have them. But they're not as, um, you know, your articulation is not as good now as, like, say, the Motu Revelations lines. So you got to kind of expect you're getting the same articulation as classics. Um, you also have this glove there, cool, you know, tiger stripe, paint all white and then a blue. It's like uh, paint blue on the outside. I don't think that can spin. I think the uh, elbow is actually spinning, yeah. And then with the hand, too. On a uh, hinge joint, go all the way in, out, and that can spin. And these hands have really sharp, too. Claws are real soft, which is pretty cool. My other arms are all the same, but we'll, let's see how the articulation works out. Make sure there's no QC issues. Yeah, looks pretty good. All the way out, down, up, right? Spin at the hand, okay? Moving down to the waist, he's got like this, yeah, solid loin cloth or pad, we'll call it. Um, He also has this holster for his um, hammer. You know, the uh, thund Hammer Thunder, which I'll bring in soon. Kind of hooked to this little pin, if you can see that. I'm going to go back and forth, and you can pop it off if you wanted to. You would have to heat this up. You have to be careful of that. That reminds me exactly of the Lino. Had that pin for his glove, and mine snapped. Actually, I had to drill a hole and reset the pin for the glove. I think I don't know if that was QC issue with you guys, but I've seen that with mine and some other figures. So I'll be careful of that. But check that out. It's pretty cool hollow. Really, you know, it's a hard plastic. And a paint with the tiger stripes matches hair and gloves. Moving on to our legs. Pretty cool. Go all the way out with a split. Go forward. Go back about that far. Bend all the way up at the knee. Pinless joints. Awesome. Yeah, pretty cool boots. Um, He can spin at the knee and the whole boot can spin too. And it, I'm sure these boots, you heat them up, you can take them off. Again, I'm not not removing parts in these, but it looks like it's possible. And then with the feet too, and go all the way down. All the way forward. I don't know if it's on a rocker joint. Yeah, it feels like it's on a rocker joint. So you can rock it back and forth. And yeah, okay. And you can spin left to right. And then a the right leg. It's all the same, right? Forward, back. Bend at the knee. Spin at the boot. And the foot can go down, up, and rock. Here's a quick look at Bengali's accessory layout. 
check that out. They come some pretty cool stuff. Taking a closer look at accessories. First up, we got Miguel's alternative head. I right, bring in a closer look. Check out the eyes way to paint it. Thundercat battle face. Teeth are showing there. Yeah, that one's cool. I'm probably going to put that head on and leave it on, I think. Next up, we got the Hammer Thundera. Looks pretty cool. Look at the detail on that. All the eyes, teeth are painted. His back is pretty sharp. So, a good material. A little soft in here. You can see mine's warped, but you yeah, like these little whips in the back, the beads. Really cool accessory. Next, you get three pairs of interchangeable hands. So, you get two punching fists. And then you get semi closed fists for the sword or the hammer. But what's interesting, I thought, I'm like, these two look exactly the same. So, obviously, you get six pairs of hands in total, left and right, but they're not. The hinges are different. So, for example, these semi open hands or gripping hands on the left side. So, you can see the hinge on it, the hinge joint on this one, it goes up and down this way. So, so his hand is actually doing this, articulating, and then the other side will go articulate in or out. Like if your hand was doing this, uh, it's interesting. And for next accessory, we got the cool sword of omens. It's the, like heated up, like he's been working on it, right? Forging it. And you get a little piece of, I think it was called Thundrillium Orb or some, or Orinum Shell, right? It was their uh, power source the material, but you get a piece of that. And you get this cool anvil with a piece of the Thundrillium on it, too. That was glued on it. Look at the detail on that. That, that itself is cool. Heavy, too. And you get this pretty neat pedestal. Pretty big, solid. It's hollow on the inside. I guess you put your anvil on top of it. So to give you that. Okay, let's change out the head and a couple hands, right? See so how the pegs work out and if there's any QC issues. Oh, nice. That popped right off. And let's see how the other head pops on. All right, nice. And now bring it in for a closer look, articulation. A little tighter, it seems like now, but you can work it in. Yeah, it looks great. I like that. Yeah, that head's cool. Right, let's check out a couple hands here. See that? Oh, that was nice. Pop right out. On the sides the same way. Let's pop in one of the gripping hands on the right side with the hinge that goes up and down. And then I'll put in the other closed hand on the left side where the hinge goes in and out. And let's give him a quick look with the hammer in hand, alternative head and hands on. Get ready for battle. Checking out our hammer holder holster. So you're gonna kind of you're gonna have to turn it away, swing it away from the side like that, and push this piece through, and you have it go all the way up to the head of the hammer. Now again, be careful with that pin when you're moving that. I don't, I don't know. It looks very weak to me, but it's kind of what that looks like. And we'll check out our Bengali setup, forging the sword of omens on the anvil. Now, yeah, obviously, I put the anvil on a pedestal. Um, seems more natural to me if you put the arm. All the, now it does. I have the sword in the left arm. You can do the right or the hammer, the other one. And that's where the hinge, the hinge, the, those hinges I showed you, are important to how you want to position the hammer, sort of look naturally, you know. But um, if you wanted to bring the hand, the arm closer up to the chest with the sword like this, you would have to put something under the pedestal and the anvil and elevate it like this, but. I think it's, I think this looks more, you know, the most natural way to forge a sword. And for one last thing, I just change out the regular head. You don't want the mean look. Um, we got the Sword of Omens still heated up. He just got done working on that. I changed back the original hand on the left side, one of the original hands, to hold that um, Thundrillium, right? You want to check that out. And, of course, his hammer is back in his holster. And for a little size comparison, and you Motu collectors, just scaling these guys together with our classics Flying Fists team in, and we got our Revelation Skeletor. And for a little fun, we'll mix in some bigger characters. You want to mix them with these Thundercats. We got the McFarlane Warhammer, Space Marines, pretty cool figures. And we got the Master Universe New Attorney Beastman. He came out really cool. Just the size. You know, even though they're bigger characters, they can go really cool with these Thundercats. And, of course, we got to check out Bengali next to our first release, Lino. And, of course, we got to size up our Bengali with Mummer Ever Living and Mummer in his mummy form. So overall, I think Bengali come out great. I don't have any QC issues. I like the paint. The accessories are awesome. He's just, he's unique. He's, you know, I like the colors on him. He's always a cool Thundercat. And I got to say, it's one of my favorites now for the Super 7 Thundercats line. So I hope to answer all your questions. I hope you guys are doing great. And until next time, take care.